it, it's one of those things that puts hairs up on your on your arms twofold one because of the memories uh, and two because of the static frankly Let's <laughs> Retro unboxing. Viewers, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching. The reason, the reason that I'm grinning like an idiot is quite simple. Um, I've just bought this. It is a Sony Trinitron KV29F3U, uh, and in short, it's a uh, a cathode ray tube, a CRT. I'm, I'm not a small, small dude. This thing is absolutely huge. I've been looking for a CRT for a while now, and I, I was looking at around 24 or 25 inches, and saw this one come up locally that is 29 inches, which is frankly massive. Have have a look at this. It's huge. Ugh. I mean, it's heavy. I'll, I'll, I'll add some footage of me getting this into the house. It, it barely didn't even get up the stairs. Um, I mean, basically, I've, I've been looking for one. I've got all these retro consoles that I want to um, get out and, and get onto the channel, but I, I just don't feel like I'd had the right display to do it. Uh, you've possibly seen on a couple of my other videos, I've got a little 14 inch uh, Philips CM8833 Mark II. Uh, which is great, but it's 14 inches. This thing is four times as big uh, in terms of display area. That is the exact same remote control that I had on my uh, Sony widescreen from back in the day, back in the PS2 days. So I've seen it working, uh, I've, I've turned it on, I've had a bit of a play through the menu system, and then I kind of had to decide what console shall I uh, try on this first? And I've kind of worked my way back and thought, right, so uh, do I Dreamcast, PS2, uh, Xbox? And the answer was simple. It's that. It's a Sony PS1 uh, or PlayStation. Well, I say PS1, it was just the bloody Sony PlayStation, wasn't it? There was no one, two, three, four, whatever. This is a Sony PlayStation. And the only game that I can possibly play on it is Gran Turismo. So just very briefly, the TV has two SCART sockets on the back. It's also got, is really quite useful, is this little flap at the front. So you can plug in um, your console there. It's got Super VHS, it's got RGB SCART on the back. So frankly, it's ideal for retro gaming and for what I want. I'm really pleased to have picked this up, uh, as I mentioned, everything Everything I now do on this channel will probably include, uh, retro stuff um, will include this this TV, so get used to it. So what I'm gonna do now is get the PS, PS1, I keep calling it a PS, PS1. Back in the day when you bought this console, it wasn't a PS1, it was just a PlayStation. So I'm gonna plug the Sony PlayStation into the Sony Trinitron CRT and, and relive some of those memories of playing Gran Turismo back in the day. Right, I'll be uh, get it set up, I'll be back with you shortly. Right then guys, so you've had a bit of a two for one on this video. This is the first look of the, the new uh, CRT, well the new, the 20 odd year old, the 25 odd year old uh, Sony TV, and, and then the impromptu unboxing of my uh, PlayStation, Sony PlayStation. Uh, I'll be honest, this is in absolutely immaculate condition. Uh, I, I bought this. It must be. It, it must be a year ago. Uh, it was this time last year that I was sort of planning. The I was in the planning stages of, of starting the channel. Uh, so I reckon this was one of the first things I actually bought, and then never really got around to using it. But it's in awesome condition, uh, as as you'll have seen from from some of the footage. It, it really does look new, uh, which was frankly exactly why I bought it. Uh, it was a little bit of a later model, it's not a, a first release, it's not an audio file, it's just a PlayStation. Nothing nothing fancy, just a PlayStation. So uh, I'm now going to just finish off plugging it in into the power, which will go in there. 
And just for ease of uh, getting it set up, uh, just for uh, and just for ease of getting it set up, I am going to just plug it into the. Uh, this this was something that you will almost certainly remember with no fondness at all, uh, which was having to reach around the back of the TV to change plugs every time you wanted to change consoles or change to a video recorder and then you'd have had a SCART adapter uh, which were these big plastic things and you'd plug all your SCART, you'd have six SCART things plugged into one SCART thing on the back of the TV and then big switches to switch between them. So yeah, the, the whole SCART thing's one thing I'm really not looking forward to uh, in terms of my uh, looking back at all of these old retro retro things it's uh it's, it's not so much of a, a fond memory but uh, there we go so just gonna get it plugged in red in there white in there and yellow in there as i say i will get some upgraded cables uh, I, I think you should be able to get a an rgb um an rgb set of uh, scart cables for this thing which is what I shall get so now I'm going to be quiet just listen to this you hear that hum and you can hear that static it's it's one of those things that puts hairs up on your on your arms twofold one because of the memories uh, and two because of the static, frankly. Listen. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, this is, is this the, uh, so I need to do a bit of screen adjustment. I think it's kind of just hanging off the screen there, but that's not too much of a, not too much of an issue. All right, let's get Gran Turismo on and, uh, and see how it looks. I mean, this was the game. This this was the game back in the day that uh, I, I lost absolute hours to. What was the soundtrack for this? It was was it the Cardigans? No. Is it the remix of Everything Must Go? Genuinely not seen this for well, probably 20, 20 years. When did the game come out? <laughs> this game came out in looks like 1997. And I played it for a couple of years. Gran Turismo would have come out, uh, or Gran, sorry, Gran Turismo 2 would have come out, and I wouldn't have played this since. So uh, it's, it's over 20 years since I would have played this game last. I know what cars I want to get though, straight away.
shit. So, there we go. Gran Turismo, Sony PlayStation, Sony Trinitron, uh, 29 inch CRTV, CRT TV. Uh, and I've said it before on the channel and I will absolutely say it again. This is the way that it's supposed to be played. If you're really serious about getting into retro gaming, get yourself a CRT, whether it be a, a little a portable 14 inch, or whether it be a, a monster like this bad boy. Um, but it's the way that it's meant to be played. And, and it's the same same reason I'm, I'm not really into emulation uh, and things like that. Uh, if I'm gonna do it, I just want to do it properly. And as I say, how it, how it was meant to be uh, back in the day, back in the late 90s, 20 something years ago. <laughs> Uh, which is ridiculous. It's uh, half half my life ago. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed uh, the video today. I will be absolutely doing more videos. Uh, I'll probably be looking out for a new PlayStation because the controller port one is a little bit dicky. Uh, I've also got to do a little bit of work with the TV uh, to get the uh, the screen square. I just need to spend a little bit of time uh, sorting that out, uh, which I may do in a separate video. Uh, otherwise, I've got plenty more to come. So I hope you have liked this video today. Please like and subscribe. There's plenty more to come and uh, hopefully I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Retro Unboxing